Hello, in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at the man rope knot. It's a good terminal knot that the final tucks take the strands back into the rope itself so whenever you go to trim it, it makes for a neater appearance. Uh, to begin with we'll take our rope and a piece of small stuff and go ahead and, and do a seizing around the end using a constrictor knot. This particular instance, uh, what I've done is I've served a piece of wire in for stiffening this rope. That's the reason you'll see a fourth strand here. Uh, it was a strand used for worming uh, the gap that was left after being wrapped around the wire. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and and open up the strands of the three strand rope Next, we'll go ahead and create our wall. And we we'll always want to make sure that we do our tucks for these. Uh, the direction of the twist of the rope, that'll ensure that the rope stays tight below the knot. And in this instance, I'm going ahead and doing the following walls in a conventional uh, counterclockwise direction. That has our wall complete. We'll next do our crowns. And there again, we want to keep our crowns formed in that uh, counterclockwise direction with the lay of the rope and the walls. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to hold down that first strand that I've created the crown and work in a counterclockwise direction when creating the following crowns. We'll go ahead and dress this up some, but that completes the knot in the single stage form. If you didn't want to double, you can go ahead and tighten it down at this time, finish the knot off. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and continue on and, and double this knot. So it'll work some more slack out, but make sure and leave yourself enough slack to work in the strands through the knot to do that double up. And we'll begin by following that lower lobe around with each strand. And we'll go ahead and take the ends off to make it easier to feed through the knot. Now we'll get out the Swedish fid. This will help us open this knot up as we run the strands. Now you can double either above the strand or below. Uh, it's just personal preference. Uh, in this case, we're going to be doubling above the strand. Uh, even though I'm doing that, you'll usually find that the fit will slide a little bit easier below the strand. So we start it there, and then we'll just work that above the strand that we're doubling. And we'll just continue on around. We're going to do this in a, a order of succession. Make sure we do all the lower lobes, double them all, uh, before proceeding to doubling the crown. If you do try to take a strand and double it all the way through, there's a good chance you'll wind up tightening that knot down too much uh, and then have a hard time running the rest of the lines through to double. Something to watch out for while you're 
actually doing these double ups make sure you're using the right strand it's easy to get mixed up you want to use that uh, strand that's come off from the crown and not accidentally grab a strand that's already been used to double and do a double double with a neighboring wall Another thing to keep an eye open for is these individual uh, strands haven't gotten loose. You might need to twist them a little bit and reform it up as you pull this through the knot. So now we just want to check our knot out, make sure uh, our, all our lower doubles are completed for the walls and get ready to do the crowns open up that center a little bit because uh, all these will be tucking around and since we're going over the top they'll be going to the inside of the crown to do the double up and passing down through and then back out to the base of the knot and we'll take our fid the one you'll want to go to uh, right in front of that strand you're going to double Look for that V to where they're crossing in the lower. That's where you'll slide your fit up. And then uh, just bring it over in the inside of that uh, strand you're going to double. And pull down. So it's following through the wall and then through the crown. Down through the base of the knot. Now here I've got one that had come back below and is following underneath so I need to go ahead and shift that up uh, make sure that it's above the strand that it's doubling before I double that crown and run it through to the base of the knot Now the knot's complete, we can go ahead and, and take care of this constrictor knot. We want to go ahead and cut it out uh, so that we can get ready to tighten our knot up, take out any slack. And to do that, instead of trying to untie, we just want to cut that strand that's passing over the top of the knot, and we will pull that right out. Okay, so now we're ready to, to work the slack out and tighten the knot up. And it's time to break out either the marlin spike, or in this case, I'm going to use my swift um, wedge it in here to, to pull that slack up. Usually helps to use your thumb in the opposite hand and kind of push up on that as you're pushing your rod through. And here again, we want to work in succession. So we want to take care of all those lower ones before we go working slack out of all the crowns. And then once we got it up, just simply pull that slack down through the crown to finish tightening the knot up. Trim these off then uh, at the rope there at the base of the knot. Yeah. 
and this rope's a little bit hairy so we'll go ahead and get our lighter out and knock these uh, wild hairs off and a quick rub down just knock the singes and there's your man rope Thanks for watching and have a great day.